Sarasa the Dancer is here and today we will analyze a song. Um, today I've chosen a bachata song but if you like this video and you want me to also do it with the salsa song leave a comment I'll make sure to do that. Now very quickly before we get started I will tell you this I made loads of videos on telling you how you could analyze the music to dance better to realize where the stops are how to memorize music but this time I decided to actually play a song and as I'm playing it to show you how I learn it, how I memorize it, what I do with it myself so that maybe when you see it actually in action, it will help you even better. Now said that, the video might be a little bit longer because we are going through the song ourselves together. So be patient, it's going to be a longer video, but hopefully you will actually have visual and, and verbal at the same time and that will help you to do the same with other songs. I have chosen a song called Privado. It is not like a very typical bachata song, but I've chosen this song because this song is uh, very easy to analyze and also because on YouTube this song you can play without being banned. <laughs> so bear with me, I would have maybe chosen something else, but I need to choose something that I can actually play without being like cancelled, if that makes sense, all right? So without further ado, let's analyze bachata song called Privado. So first what I would do actually is play the song, a whole song and just listen to it. Yes, I, I listen to the whole song first. So that's what you should do anyway. Always listen to the whole song first and just try to pick up little bits and pieces and just see where it takes you, yes? But then if you want to work on it more, always go in pieces. So for example, bachata music now, most of the time, whether it's authentic Dominican or a little bit more modern like this one, always there's some sort of beginning, some sort of intro, and it also allows you to find where your one is. And you will notice something a little bit changing before the body actually starts. So let's look and see if there's an intro. See how it's mellow? Still mellow. He's singing, still mellow. Did you hear that? Okay, so first things first, normal people would um, go with one and five and what I actually hear is something in between. This is why it's important to listen to the song in the beginning and start analyzing. Now, what is it there in between? Let me see if I can make it a little bit louder for you as well. So I'm gonna play that one more time. And I, want you, and I want you to now listen, not to just the mellow, but the actual little bit in between. I will sing it along. So, this is how I analyze the song. I don't just choose a beat. I don't listen where it's slow so I just go mellow. I actually find other things so that it would increase my dancing. In this case, instead of just going doom, doom, I will go doom, 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 does that make sense? So those kind of things immediately, even in your intro, would enrich on how you dance. Now, a very specific thing. Usually when something after the intro happens, like it means the song is about to happen. But in this particular case, tara tara is on one. And what happens, the song starts on five. Now, it's very rare when that happens. Usually after tara tara or some sort of 
key that something is about to change, usually it's one. So make sure that you understand that most of the time you will go on one, but in this case, it starts on one and it, the karakara is on one and it starts on five, the song. And this is something that you only would probably know if you can distinguish your rhythms between one and five. If you don't, it's something that you would have to work on a little bit more and we can make another video on that as well. All right, so now we know the intro stopped and it kicked in into like, a, in this case, a chorus, but let's see where it takes us, okay? So now you are dancing. And now change. So we're going from the chorus into a body, right? So now when the chorus kicked in, you have a normal beat. This way you can dance your bachata. Anything goes now. You can do anything you want, any combinations, body movement, whatever. But now again, you have a choice. You whether go with the beat and you keep the beat going, or sometimes you mix it up with the syncopations, with the bass timing to actually play around with his voice. Because in his singing, he goes So you could actually incorporate a little bit of a syncopation Does that make sense? So again here, now you can be dancing and doing crazy stuff But you can choose whether you're doing just normal beat Or you actually incorporate some of his voice you can see the change because in the chorus it was this but when he starts now going into a normal body he starts singing I know I'm not a singer okay bear with me I'm trying to help you this is why I'm embarrassing myself but now he's going into there's the change this is where you can start doing a bit maybe body movement because it's a bit more like a mellow longer vowels it tells you slow down if you did the turn patterns maybe relax a little bit do something a little bit more move related yes like movement so it continues through the whole body <laughs> This is the important part. The chorus again started, right? But this time when he said privado, just in the beginning of the chorus, the music disappeared for a very short period of the time and then it appears again, right? So listen to this part for the chorus, please. <laughs> This is very, very subtle, but it's there. So that break right there, if you catch it, you are the dog's bollocks, right? This is the important part. This is where it distinguishes you between just dancing nicely to the music and you doing something with the music, right? So when now I would do something, I would take a step and then I would make a dramatic pause. Privada and start five, six, seven, eight. Or I did privada and then five six seven. something in that bit of a moment where there's a bit of a pause if you pause with it you are golden and how do you know those pauses coming only if you know that song some songs are more obvious like you know when you have in the beginning here kr, kr, before the music start it gives you an indication that something's changing some stops are like that there's an indication that something is about to happen and some don't and you will only know if you're actually sitting down and you're learning the music just like we're doing right now. <laughs> 
Let's continue. Now there's no voice and clearly guitar appeared. Now we cannot ignore guitar. Some people say as soon as guitar kicks in you have to do footwork, not necessarily. I could do some sharp little isolations matching the guitar music as well. So don't worry, you don't have to do just footwork, but of course if you can match something with the feet as well, that's great, but you have options. It doesn't have to be one on another. You can mix the two as well. But it's clearly when guitar kicks in, there's a huge change. All you need to do is change with it. Now, there's certain footwork with syncopations that no matter what the song is, you will match most, most of the syncopations. Like most of the guitar, you will match it. So it's very important to learn any kind of syncopations. So when you don't know the song, you can do the syncopations and you're gonna match 60% of the guitar anyway. But of course, if you want to match it like beautifully, like 80% or more, then you have to actually memorize the guitar. And you have to literally sing it out loud. Is it hard? Sure. <laughs> but you want to dance amazing bachata to the music? You gotta do what you gotta do, right? As you learn the steps, you learn the music as well. As I say, you can just learn some uh, syncopated steps that gonna help you with every song, or you can also work a little bit hard on your favorite songs and learn them a little bit better. Another thing to know that usually when you get the guitar solo in the bachata song, um, it's towards the end of the song, right? So just keep that in mind. Uh, usually solo guitars are never in the middle or the beginning of the song. There's always solo guitar now and then coming in, but that kind of solo where there's only the guitar itself playing around, is towards the end of the song. So you did your footwork, you know that the end of the song is gonna happen soon. So probably there's gonna be one more bit of chorus or something and somewhere towards the end, you are close, okay? So that's something to keep in mind as well, technically. So you see, he's repeating now what happened in the beginning. So you have the same options, you want to keep the beat or you do something with the voice. Again, repeat itself in the elongation. just to finish it off whatever happened in the beginning will happen in the end so things repeat themselves in bachata all the time that's why i say don't listen to it empty in the beginning if you hear it something when the same thing starts again later towards the end it will repeat itself so the chorus was like that the chorus will happen again the body was like that the body will happen again the slow part was like that, the slow part will happen again. So if you miss it in the beginning, try to catch it towards the end because it's exactly the same thing. Little bits in here and there change, little extra things might appear. There might be a little bit more like doom, doom, doom ending like we had, or sometimes the ending is just kapam, 
but the idea is it repeats itself. Knowingly that, you should respond accordingly. Guys, if this doesn't show that I love you, I don't know what will, okay? I sang and all of that. So I hope you found this useful. If you'd like me to do exactly the same with the salsa song, which is a little bit more complicated piece of music, I'm happy to embarrass myself one more time and do it to you because I think it's helpful and I hope you think it's helpful too. So leave a comment, let me know, subscribe, give me thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will see you very soon. And now check out these other bachata videos about musicality, maybe you have missed them, we can't.